Hey, what is going on today, guys? Luke here, and I thought I'm going to be play, I'll play a bit of uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 since I have my G27 racing wheel. I don't use it as much as I used to. But no, I actually I didn't really know what to play, and sort of everything else just kind of like seems to lag. So, I have a story for you guys. I may have said before that um, I was selling my uh, PlayStation 3. And whether I did or not, I don't know, but I mean, it got views, um, and it was it was my PlayStation 3. Uh, it was the black controller, the white controller. Um, what else was with it? Uh, it was uh, 35 games that was with it. There was a wireless headset and the PS3 iCam. A little bit of a lag spike there. Um, so yeah, and I, I went to eBay for a while and it wasn't selling, but there was viewers and some uh, very few watchers. By very few, I mean like one or two. And um, but no, and then there was times when people were buying it. Like I put it up, but it was a starting price. It was like the uh, the bid, the starting bid price at two hundred pounds. Because I feel that all of that together is worth at least two hundred quid. And so. It was up for a while, and then there was, sort of, well, there was a collision right in front of us there, I didn't even realise. Come on! Yeah, mong. Like, what about you in front? Like, drive! Before I drive into the back of you. Oh my god. I'm gonna drive into the back of you in a minute, I'm gonna drive again. Anyway, so yeah, it was up for a while, and oh, they just like, shoot out right in front of the lorry. Like, how, how stupid. Actually, are you seriously, child? Are you kidding me? Because you're the light, I'm getting this lane anyway. Because, like, yeah, once um, I can't see the red light. So, yeah, the starting price was £200, and the buy it now price was £280. Not anyone will most likely be stupid enough to pay that much for it, but you know. Anyway, people were buying it, and I was like, oh my god, yes, I've sold it, monies! And then they were just like, no, it was bought without the owner's permission. I was like, bullshit it was, you paid for it. Um, but yeah, it, and then they never actually ended up buying it. So I kept putting it back up. And, oh shit. And then today's date, which is the 15th of April, um, someone actually decided to buy this on the other Someone decided to buy it. And then I then received another email um, from eBay saying it was bought without those permission and all that. I was like, seriously, for fuck's sake. My mum was just like, just take it down. I'll try and set it up. It doesn't want to cut like a car boot sale. Basically. If, if you like, think of it like that. If you saw, if you refer to it as a car boot sale. Um, which is like, I'll try and get some money for it for you and all that. And I was like, alright, thanks, mum. It's a long ass job, but I'll do it. Um, so, I just one right here as well. Oh, but I'm gonna hit it. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Uh, anyway, so, yeah. I was like, alright, cool. And then, like today, I received several emails um, saying that the purchase was restored and that the person did want to buy it. Now, I did have it as pickup only. Um, so local people, or actually in the UK, you could drive. To me, and, I'm gonna get through there. Window or roll back. Um, could drive to me and pick it up. But no, every single purchase that was ever made by people, they were American. And that goes with shit. Let's drive into it. Um, and that got, am I going the wrong way? That goes with this parti uh, particular buy. So, I was like, okay, now I need to get a box and box everything up, compact it in. And it was, but they bought it for 280 pounds. But then, obviously, I was like, my mum was like, well, you need, to, you need to cover yourself for the shipping. So just bad, it's 50 quid. But they sent it through via PayPal an extra 100 pounds because she said she really worked it out. This is actually a punchline true story. If you don't believe me, guys, I'll actually screenshot the email and I'll put it on another video if you don't believe me. Or I'll put it on my Facebook page. You, uh, that is all active, by the way, the Twitter and Facebook. Like, if you follow me on Twitter, then you, you get an update of um, 
from where the video, every video is uh, uploaded. Anyway, oh, there we go, the bar. oh my god. So, she was like, yeah, I really want to buy it and everything. She was like, what happened was there was a problem with my account, and um, the purchase was, again, this is a true story, the purchase uh, was made by a woman's daughter who had to sign into her account or something. But it, the, it was for her husband, who is out serving in um, in Nigeria, so Africa, and that's where they're from. This was from these people were from Africa, Niger Nigeria, West Africa. I think is it West? Yeah, West Africa. I don't know. I don't know geography at school anymore, so I wouldn't know. And I was like, "Well, shit, that's the wrong way." And then I was like, oh man, I'm never going to see my peers free again. And my friends are like, well, some of my friends were quite sarcastic and was like, well, that's what happens when you sell things. And it's like messing around and shit. And, um, but yeah. But here's one thing that I found quite dodgy about this story of uh, when I was getting emails. Every email that she sent, they were duplicated. So they were, every time she sent, every time she, well if she was a she, I don't know, but we'll get onto that in a minute. So every email she sent me, there was two. There was one with the subject payment sent, but there was two of them emails, exactly the same. The confirmation from eBay of the payment being approved via PayPal because of fraudulent purposes. There was two of them. And so I was just like, okay, maybe this is just some strange person that doesn't really know how to use email or I don't really know. Didn't really think of it at the time, but I thought that doesn't sort of seem right. Anyway, she said she sent me. Uh, I got a thing from PayPal of when it, you know when it gives you the list of payments. Like there was the two hundred eighty pounds uh, for the PlayStation for itself, and then there was the extra hundred pounds that was the title for the postage and shipping packaging and all that crap. But every time I've used PayPal or anything like that, I've always known that payments come through right away or within a matter of five five to ten in ten minutes max complete but with five minutes max even. But the payment didn't come through and I was like and um and I was sort of like oh okay. It turns out that payment was sent to my other email that isn't associated with any PayPal account at all. I'm not actually going to map here the uh, the buttons are all messed up on here so basically so I get into the next high set of gears. So yeah, I was like, oh shit, so I sent them an email, I was like, look, can you just hold on a second, the payment's been sent to the wrong email, can you just give me a second while I phone up PayPal? So I phoned PayPal, and a guy was actually, the guy was actually really nice, he was from up north, um, so he was Scottish or something, I don't know. Big jumping gears there. Um, and he just said, don't worry, there's no problem, all you need to do is go on your PayPal, go on your settings and add that email and then, like, confirm it. And like we do the like, your email verification and all that sort of shit that you've done, but that people have done before. And I was like, all right, cool. And he was like, I'll send you an email, and so you know you can just follow the steps on there. He said it's very easy. He said if you do have any more problems, give, give us um, give us give us a call back. Um, or feel free to give us a call back. All that crap. So I was like, all right, cool, thanks, man. So I went on and I was like, right, I've added that email to a PayPal account, all confirmed. Still no payment. So I waited. Not exactly, but I waited around, what, 20 minutes? Payment still hadn't come through. So I sat there and thought to myself, huh, payments usually come through straight away. Maybe it's just, maybe because I just thought, you know, like, just go with some random common sense. She's all the way out there in Nigeria. Supposedly. In the brackets, question mark, it's not a question mark. Um, so yeah, and I was just, so I, like, I phoned paper and I was like, right, I told her I, I phoned up like 20 minutes ago and um, I just wanted to know like I told her what had happened and like how long payments come through and she said to me well payments usually well she said payments come through straight away on PayPal I said if it's been sent to that email because that's how it's done on PayPal it's sent via email then it will say there but on the email that I, what I was talking about earlier the one from PayPal was saying what the money was sent for and it gave it the list of the PS3 system itself and all things like that um, it said down the bottom that it's been approved by eBay, like within the small print sort of stuff, and that it was pending. And that once I'd sent them the shipping number, so once I'd sent it and shipped it, 
I could then claim that. But when I went onto my PayPal account, there was nothing there pending. And you're going to bloody slow wire. So I was like, okay, this is weird. So again, when I was speaking to the woman on the phone, going back to that, this was obviously like in the future now. And I said to her, blah, 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 blah. And she said, and she said, well, what's the email that the payment was sent? So I gave her the email. And her response was, there is nothing on our systems anything to do with that email. I was like, um, Okay, so what does this mean then? Like, it's the wrong email, I've read it out wrong, it's some sort of mistake. She was like, well, what I want you to do is um, send it, well, wait, 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 just quickly, going back to what I said earlier about PayPal having fraudulent shit and all that sort of new stuff that they've got. This is where, that's where that part comes in. And she was like, well, send it to, um, she gave me an email which was spoof at paypal.co.uk she was like email us that and we'll get back to you because it may be a it may be someone trying to fraud you for money I don't know what fraud is basically I'd, I'd send them the PS3 but they'd never pay me for it and they, they, there's a, a chance they could get away with it so I've just lost like a hundred quid on postage and packing on the PlayStation 3 so yeah she was like send it to that because it might be fraudulent so I forwarded it and sent it to him. And about what, 10 minutes later, I get a reply back saying, um, thanks for sending it and everything like this. And then about five minutes after that, I get another one come through. Saying, hello Luke, um, we've reviewed uh, your, what you, the, um, your, um, the, your email you sent us. I would read it out, I don't know what my phone is. Behind me on my bed. Um, they said yet, yeah, and we've reviewed it. And we probably know where I'm going with this. It was a fraudulent account. They were trying to fraud me for a PlayStation 3. And all the everything that else that went with it. So I was like, my, my ultimate reaction was to my mum. Bastards. But my mum, like, we, we laughed about it because it was something it, it was something to laugh about at the time, but we was it was shocked because I, I looked at that and because I've worked with PayPal and eBay so long I've never had a problem with this sort of thing I just assumed that that was genuine email and I was actually ready to ship it tomorrow um, but yeah it was fraudulent they said they're working on it and then about what a half hour after that I had another email come through from that, from that person saying they sent it to my other email, so I emailed them saying, like, it's got the wrong email, you should have gone to this email, or phone PayPal, blah blah blah. So I got an email from him, but the woman said to me, just don't reply, just don't say anything to him. And mum was like, why don't you just email them back saying, like, you suck at being fraudulent wankers, because I've just caught you out. But then, like, I saw what the woman said over the phone, and my mum was like, oh, fair enough. Oh, Jesus, man, like, don't just break just like that, on my way. And I'm going faster than I should be, but still. So yeah, it was a fraudulent account, and I was very shocked, considering that she said that her husband was in, they'd just gone out to serve in in Nigeria itself. There's, I know there's some sort of war. There's always wars going on in Africa. I'm like, sorry for them people, you know. And I was like, oh, that's nice. You're getting a present for him to send out to him or whatever. But they lied. Everything they said was a lie. They was uh, they're, they're fraudulent people. Yeah, but luckily, I spoke to PayPal and you know. But I mean, you know, it sucks for me because I actually had whilst I was emailing them and getting ready to just, like box it all up, I was actually wiping all the data off my PS3. Like it got to five percent. But then because of that, I was like, "Are you like kidding me? I've just got my PS3 on wipe." And now you're telling me that you're a fraudulent bastard. So I cancelled it, and it turns out that it couldn't find the database, so that was already gone. So what I'm saying is, I've just lost everything on my PS3. It's like, it's like I bought it brand new now, it's been on my reset, unfortunately. Oh, there's no game data on it or anything like that. So I'm not even going to bother sending it back up again and getting everything ready again and signing back in on my PSN account. And 
having to get all the games installed again, I just I, I just can't be asked for that. So So yeah, so I don't know much thought it was a story to tell, but the moral of this story is is always make sure you have received full payment and make sure you have transa you've transferred them into your bank accounts before you send anything off because that's what I've, I've always done that if I sell something on eBay I say to them as soon as I've received payment and I've got it in my bank then I will post the item no matter how long it takes and they're gonna email me complaining saying that they've paid ship it off and not until I've seen it with my own eyes and I've worked with that payment online so that's the thing, online transaction online transactions are dodgy unfortunately. It's like my mild maths teacher, she got scammed on PayPal, fake PayPal, uh, for two thousand pounds. She got her money back, she like the it was uh, the issue was resolved. But um but it just goes to show some people are so clever when it comes to trying to fraud others and all things like that. But um but no that's kind of this story and that be that. I want to pause this real quick so I want to make sure this is actually recording. Oh it is, good. It's all good guys. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh well, no, that's going to stay up there. Well it can just stay there. I suppose. No way actually. Wait, if one... Um, Oh, this, sorry, pretty. Oh, wait. Apologies for the interruption, uh, ladies and gents. Where's the? Wait, 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 no, it was there. Where's it? There it is. Um, I'll put that up there. Just so I know how long everything's going on for, and things like that. But no, that was basically the moral of that. I mean, as I said, it does just go to show the links people actually go to. To get money, I shouldn't have pulled that straight away and it was clear. And well, well I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, that's the first time ever anyone has ever tried to fraud me. I mean, in a sense, it's upsetting that it almost happened to you, but I don't know. I wasn't too bothered by it. I mean, I've still got it. I just haven't got 380 quid to go and spend on PlayStation 4 stuff. Or clothes, even whatever trainers, shoes, shit. I don't know stuff that my body enjoys wearing. <coughs> that sounded quite weird. Why the hell did I say that? The fuck! Don't overtake me. I'm gonna catch up to you. You, you look, you full focus. Come on, Kenworth K100. You can do it. I actually need to pull over and sleep. I might do that. All right, I need to go into the high set. I really need to change that button from the map. I don't know why I chose that one as the map. No! Bitch, you're not overtaking me, okay? Suck on them apples. But yeah, I just thought it'd be a story to tell, I mean... I don't know, I didn't really have anything else to talk about, rather than just sitting and be like, Hi guys, Luke here, still be playing ETS2. And then just chat shit about what happens in this game when I drive into people. But I might do that more often, like... Try and find stories for you guys and shit, but. Well, I'll pull over and then we can then we go in the video there. But yeah, someone tried to fraud me, but my um, TSG uh, is step that. When I put, the pi I put a picture on Facebook and I was like, Saw my PS3 to a Nigerian family, never gonna see this again. And he was like, Yeah, until you like receive payment over PayPal and you'll never see that money again. And I was like, You were right. It's a fraudulent account. I just, I don't know, it just sucks that people do that, to be honest. Nothing better to do with their lives. There must be sad people. I'm not sad as in, <laughs> sad, like, I'm sad he broke up with me, she broke up with me, I'm some, you know. I don't want to tip this lorry because he's tipped really easily, these trailers. But no, yeah, as in sad, like, you're just a sad though, mate, like, it's all your life out. It's just the, the length that people go to to get money. It is surprising. It's 
So um, yeah, if you want to see more of uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, go ahead and hit that like button, and of course, feel free to leave any comments you may have. There's no way to pull over. He's uh, waiting. Oh, wow. Where's the um? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. But I'm getting tired. Oh no, the petrol station's miles away. Alright, uh, um. Oh, I'm gonna drive into the back of him. Okay, well I'm, I'll just pull over here. Slam the brakes on, and we'll, we'll just stop here. I think. Yeah. I'm sure we're, we'll be able to stop here, right? Even though I can't sleep. Wait, that's not gonna work though, because I need to sleep, but there's nowhere to pull over. Okay, well I'll figure something out next time. See, I was thinking of starting like a delivery sort of thing on the on ETS2, but um, but let me guess, no. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later. Um,